oftentimes I see that when we, I, I, I battle with the procrastination um, for, for a period of my life and it came from um, over, trying to overcompensate. I, I tried to stretch myself too thin. Um, I made myself uh, accessible to everybody and their mom's cousin's aunt. And so it just got to a point I said, you know what? I, I can't, I have 24 hours in a day. I need to eat, I need to sleep. If I'm not eating and I'm not sleeping, we can't do coaching sessions for somebody, mom's cousins, daddy's sister. Like we just can't do that. And so oh, complete, it's, it's completely trying to overcompensate or, or giving out of our lack and, and we can't do that. That's what happens when we begin to procrastinate because we realize it's like, oh, I don't have the time or I don't have this and that. When people come to us, majority of the time it's our friends. It's, we, we get conflicted with wanting to say no or not wanting to say no because they're going to get mad because we know them. We know them well. But at that same time, we are not respecting ourselves. We are not setting and maintaining boundaries for ourselves, And they're completely disrespecting us and what we've been purposed to do. Because when we take the time to, whether it's speak to them or address their concerns and issues for free or at a discounted rate, we're, we're not, they're, they're first and foremost, they're not investing anything into what it is that you're, what you would normally do to be charged. And so my friends, we had the conversation, some of them were upset at first, but we had that conversation. I'm like, if you guys want that advice from me, we're going through coaching. We're, we're not exchanging these, these advice. You can see what I, what, what everybody else gets on Facebook and it's, uh, Snapchat and whatever else, other social media, that's the free nuggets. But when we're talking about, oh, you went through this or you went through that. This is, this is a coaching session because you need to work through this. This is not something that I can just give you an answer for. And so just understanding that, no, you got to say, no, you have to set those boundaries. But you, setting those boundaries, you, you, you'll still compromise yourself. So set and maintain them and stay firm with what you believe. If you value yourself, then you can, then you can work to that, that place where you can say, you know what? I'm not comfortable with this. We're friends. But understand, I value our friendship. So this is what I'm telling you. But if you value your friendship and turning it on them, sometimes they're just like, oh, wait, why is she trying to say that I don't value a friendship? It probably never even sunk into their mind that they are not valuing the relationship by just asking for those handouts. The balance really comes from knowing your limits or rather knowing my limits. And I, I have this... Um, Devon Franklin, Making Good's Husband, he, I went to a conference in August and he said, set alarms. He was like, but don't just set these alarms throughout your day. Set the alarms and, and, and write something. And I'm like, okay, what would, I, what would I even write? And so all of my alarms say something. So my good morning post is, good morning, your purpose for greatness. My lunchtime is, um, you need to eat lunch so you can be fueled to continue to empower. So all, and as I said, I have these alarms all throughout my day. And so that's actually what keeps me grounded and keeps me balanced because I'll read this and, and if I had a session that didn't go well or if I had a speaking engagement that didn't work out how, as I wanted to or if I had a meeting that canceled or whatever it was that didn't go as I wanted it to go, that alarm will go off regardless. And I'm often, I'm often not thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? This is so much bigger than me. This deal didn't go through because something else was supposed to happen or the timing wasn't right or what have you. And so those, that's how I would have to say is I keep my balance is, is, is my phone in the sense of those notifications that come up every couple hours. Oh my goodness. I would, I would have to say that reflecting on the things that you've gone through in your life is pivotal to to your, tra your transformation period. The things that you go through, the, the things that we're battling with in our lives, we have to take time regularly to reflect on, on, our, on what we've gone through, how we feel about what we've gone through, what was our thought process like, who was around, all of these aspects. We need, we need to take t that into consideration so we can begin to move forward if we're changing our situation, our scenario, or even our mindset. We have to always begin to reflect. Mm -hmm. Definitely pivotal. Um, I do... I do a journal reflection every day, whether I write in the journal or I read something that I wrote before the night, the day previously or the night previously. And so, what I've come to what I've come to learn is that rather than carrying out my day as a checklist, like okay, I read my Bible this morning and I da 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 da, da I'm, I'm becoming a robot. This it's not it's not actually genuine. And so I don't my my schedule or my routine rather 
fluctuate. So sometimes I'll read scripture at night or through the day or multiple times a day. And so that same aspect in the sense of reflection, it's it's throughout the day. So whenever I get that opportunity to go back through that journal or take that time to reflect in that moment, that's what I do. But majority of the time, it's it's a point where I can take that or I was going to say it's a point in the day where I can take that step back and say, Ooh, okay, let me breathe and release, or I know I'm getting overwhelmed, or I forgot to eat lunch, or whatever it is. And I said, you know what? This is that moment. You need to stop, reflect. So th there's several different things that I do with my routine. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.